it is. <laughs> if you can afford it, I can. Um, hello everyone, nice to see you here. Uh, I thought I'd start off with a few impressions. Um, <clears throat> impression number one, mind your ears. Get out of the fucking ground! Get out of the fucking ground! I'm on trees and on trees and dead things! Get out of the fucking ground! That's crude oil. <laughs> I say, would you mind awfully popping me in your car? That's refined oil. <laughs> and impression number three?
So I started just doing it again. <laughs> Turn it again while the cat was eating the tuna. So I started going back and forth. And I thought, maybe it's a ritual. So I got the tin over, the, 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 the can open now. And I started clacking, you know, I go, and I thought, maybe I should say some words. I said, there's no bad luck here. There's no bad luck here. I was removed by the neighbours. Um, <laughs> but it had to help because um, the other day, smash the mirror. And I thought, how can I reverse this? I can't unsmash the mirror. So I bought another mirror, popped it down, got a bottle of vodka, and I got absolutely fucking smashed in front of the mirror. <laughs> absolutely wasted. And I was doing well, I was seven hours in, and I thought, ah, oh, you know, you get that point where you just, you just look in the mirror and you go, I fucking hate you. You're the cause of all my problems and anxieties. You dickhead. And I punched it. Uh, so, I the mirror smashed, so it wasn't the best of the day either. So. And then the next day, terrible bad luck here. Walking on the road. Hard work, isn't it? And, uh, stepped on a crack. My mum's got off artist as it is. So I thought, what I'll do, I'll get a pickaxe. Got a pickaxe, took the slabs out, let's reverse this. Went out to my mum's room, dropped the slabs on the back. <laughs> it hasn't helped, uh, not gonna lie. Um, it's made it worse, isn't it? It's been bed bound now. Um, so what I thought, I'll try and just get something that's really, really lucky. So what's the luckiest thing you can get? No, let's not do the rabbit's for once. <laughs> What's that? A clover. Correct. Thank you, over there. So I went and said, which man on the bar aisle, couldn't afford it. That's that does. What's that? A rabbit's foot. Yes. Went down the rabbit's foot aisle, couldn't afford that either. No. What else is really lucky? Horseshoe. Yes. So I went to the shoe zone. Um, so yeah, mate. So I saw, saw, saw one on, on someone's door. I took it off and thought, ah, what do you I'll nail it to my front door, make it really lucky. So I nail it on. The thing about the blazing is it does tend to smash when you nail things to it. Um, not very good. Mom's upstairs going, Joe, what are you doing out there? Joe, what are you doing? So the sun doesn't matter, I'm fine. You done it again, haven't you? First it was the car, now the rabbit, and then this. It's not been a good week, really. Uh, I'm surprised I made it to here. Um, yeah. And anyway, after I've always you've met, it's Zebra Stalks in Somerset. Um, we are, um, we're getting there. We've just got colour TV. <laughs> this is nice. Um, and also, this, this is amazing. Look at that, there's no wire here. Honestly, this is new to me. I've been thinking, what's this hand doing the whole time? <laughs> okay, this is great, wow. Um, so, uh, I'm, I'm a cross dresser, by the way. That's how I want to say about myself. I'm cross I'm queer. Um, and it took me down in West Virginia a long time to realise that actually this is all fucking close, isn't it? But obviously in the early 2000s, what a time of shame in West Superman. You know, trying to explain any years after my mum, that was hard enough as it is. But then this. And I just, I didn't know how to express myself. So what I did, because I've been doing it since I was about three years old, and my sister would give me a hand-me-down clothes, and I'd be putting them on, and dressing up, and I'd also be trying out my nails. But I didn't have nail polish back then, I only had um, acrylic paint. <laughs> so I've been painting on my nails, and uh, my, my, my art got better, because I was on that side playing football, obviously, I was doing stuff like this, stupidly. Um, I thought, I thought, I was thinking, well, if I practice my nails, I can get really good at art, because that's what Michelangelo used to do. You know Michelangelo? Uh, played City in Chapel, that's what he used to do. He used to try out stuff on his nails, and then paint it on the ceiling, much to the Pope's annoyance, but obviously the Pope would be there like, Michael! Michael, what are you doing out there? Painting the ceiling, remember? And he'd be like, I'm just painting, I'm trying stuff out. Look, this is not a legit accent, I just said this right now. <laughs> I'm just trying stuff out, it's got to look nice. What are you doing on your nails? I'm trying to make it look good. I want it on the ceiling. You want God touching Adam, don't you? You want him touching his what? You know what I said. No, I didn't. I, I'm up here now. Um, what? Oh, I am. I'm, why are, you up, why are you up there? I don't know, it's gone weird now, this is strange. I'm scared. It's, it's gone, the, the, the routine's gone weird. Um, they're not on board. What do I do now? I don't know, it's gone straight, I'm scared. Um, do I come down? Well, it's in your head, so work it out. Can I make a ladder? No. Right. <laughs> So I'm in my room painting my nails, um, <laughs> not very impressed with my kind of the Pope. Um, and I finally uh, came out last year to my parents and said, look, that's how I want to wear, that's what I want to wear, that's my life, that's what I'm doing. But I told my mum in the most dramatic way, I thought, it's New Year's Eve, 2021, I was going to party in London, I bought a dress, I thought, 
Okay, let's do it. So I came downstairs. My mum, I'm going to London, going to the party, and I dressed like this. My mum looked over, she went, Oh, that's nice. Yeah. She's not Northern, sorry. Um, <laughs> she went, Oh, that's nice. She's not Alan Bennett, why am I doing that? <laughs> Dear diary. <laughs> So I was enjoying my Christmas Day edition of Vera, with all the midwife. And then I disturbed the fact that my son came downstairs. I knew it was going to happen, so I don't want to do this. I'm not talking heads. Um, so I got upstairs and I went, oh, that's nice, dude. Well, can you see this? And she took on the moment. Oh, what are you wearing? It's not normal. She said, she's from Windsor. And she went, oh, I know what you're wearing. I'm wearing a dress. She said, that's fine enough. How fucking annoying is that? <laughs> I'm Joe Brooks, thank you for having me.